All right, how's it going today, guys? We are here for a quick discussion about item pipes in GT6. And GT6 pipes, GT5 as well, they're both very similar. But the way they work is you have tiers. There are about five tiers. You have your brass tier, your electrum tier, then you go up to the platinum tier, osmium tier, and dirium and ultimate, and then osmiridium, and now there's a vibranium steel as well at the very end. Now, along with those tiers, you also have normal large and huge and they work off of step size and bandwidth so for every time you change a pipe size or you change this tier the step size is going to go down by half the band size the bandwidth is going to double so for Tier 1 pipes, if you're using normal, it's going to be a step size of 32K with a bandwidth of 1 per second. Now that 1 per second is 1 stack. Does not matter if it's 1 item per stack or if it's 64 items in that stack. It's still a stack. You cannot have 64 random items that would be considered 64 stacks of one and then if you go to the next size up you'll notice that this pipe is equal to a tier two normal electrum pipe so they have the same step size the same bandwidth and then if you go to the huge that is going to be equal to the Platinum, which is Tier 3. Now, most people get confused on the step size. What the step size means is that is how many literal steps an item would have to take to traverse this one block pipe so basically think of it as there being waves in this pipe um i'm trying to think of the other name for them little bumps in the pipe and there are 32 that has to be crossed in a tier one pipe where there's only 16 thousand in a tier two pipe so it's faster to get across the tier 2 pipe than it is the tier 1 pipe. Or the large pipe versus the small pipe or normal pipe. So the way that works out in world here is I have four tier 1 pipes on this side. And I have four tier 1 pipes to this chest on the or tier two on this side and then two more to this one and just think of these two as our input they're not really going to count for this because we're worried about how long it's going to take to get from here to there and here to there but with that being if I would put an item in this hopper it's going to go to that chest even though technically it's quicker to get here because you only have five blocks to go but you have 16,000 32 32 32 32,000 versus 16 16 16 16 16 16, 16. And I will demonstrate that now. Both chests completely empty. 
both hoppers completely empty nothing up my sleeve put that in there and there's our 32 aluminum now if I take these item pipes and fill this chest up i could just you know close it but say the pipe the box has gotten full and i send something else through that should go to this box well there's a chance it could come over here but it's still shorter to come over this way so even though this pipe is longer it's still going to go there because this it sees as a further destination due to the step size. So with that, you can really manipulate your item management through your base, depending on where you want things to go. Now, after you have all of these pipes figured out, then you have restrictive pipes. And restrictive pipes add a hundred times onto whatever the normal pipe would be. So if I had perfectly equal pipes running down both sides of this, let me get these out of here real quick. So if I take all of these out of here and we put in the same pipes except for that one there we're going to use a restrictive pipe just that on there for the moment we will throw this one here and now if I put the items in here, it's going to go to that chest. And I'll explain why after we see it. So there they are. Now the reason is that to get to this chest or this chest, it has to go an extra hundred times further to get through this pipe. Now if we put this pipe over here and we had our regular pipe here well here let's actually use one of these and let's take one more of these out of here that should do it if I'm mapping this in my head correctly. So now, if we do it, we should end up over there instead of over there, because you've got 32, 64, 128 to go through that way. We're not going to mine these two. And then we've got 32, 64, then... 16, 32, 48, 64 to that one. So it's actually exactly equal from there to there. So if I put it in this side, we should go here. If we put it in this side, we should go there. And nothing should go here because it has to go that 100 times further to get through there so i hope this helps anybody that had questions about how pipes work in gt6 if you have any questions leave me a message down below stop into our discord link is in the description and i will see you guys next time